Hi everyone, uh, welcome and happy new year, 1st of January, hard to believe. Uh, okay, so North has passed, East has bid one club, and I'm going to bid here of course. A uh, couple of choices, I could bid a spade, one spade, or I could double. Got an opening hand and double to show an opening hand, but double is more than just an opening hand. A double should be uh, opening hand plus support for all the unbid suits. And I don't have support for diamonds. So one spade uh, is my choice here. And if I need to, I can always bid hearts next time. Uh, but let's start with a spade. Three spades. All right, so three spades, uh, this is interesting. In a competitive auction here, three spades doesn't, uh, it really should just be four, four card spade support and it doesn't necessarily show a strong hand. Um, but I quite, I do quite like my hand. Just forget about the points for a second. Um, we've got a diamond. You know, North could easily have, well, North's got a doubleton club at the most because East and West have got four each. So North's got at most a doubleton club. West is going to lead a club. So it's going to go a club to the East's ace or whatever. I'm going to win this king of clubs, and I'm going to be able to rough my last club. So I'm only going to lose a diamond and a club. Heck, if partner's got the king of hearts, that's probably all I need for four spades. So I'm not expecting a strong hand from North, but... I think uh, I've got lots of tricks here, so I'm going to bid four spades. Let's see how we go. And hi, Phil there in Sydney. Hey, Steve, welcome. Uh, hi, Graham. Uh, well, that's just, North had three clubs. I'm surprised about that. Uh, so what does that tell us? So I'm playing standard today. So that three may only be a three-card suit. That one club may only be a three-card suit. It looks like West has just raised on four-card club support, which is fine. And so I, I suspect West has got four clubs and East has got th three. So unfortunately, my bright idea didn't work. Um, I'm going to lose a club of diamond and two hearts. That king of diamonds, unfortunately is useless. Uh, the king, I've got one diamond to lose, and the king of diamonds means I've still got one diamond to lose. If that king of diamonds had been the king of hearts, then I would have lost a club, a diamond, and a heart, um, and I would have made. But unfortunately, North had the wrong king, and so I'm going to go down. And notice that North ha North's hand is no surprise. I wasn't expecting North to have a strong hand here. I was just expecting North to have lots of trumps. Um, that's what he had. And we're going to go down, unfortunately, because I wish that King of Diamonds could turn into the King of Hearts, but it's not going to happen. I don't. That's not going to win. We can try. And I've got two hearts to lose. I might even lose three. Oh, well, I'm going to say I might even lose three hearts. Uh, it could have gone uh, Ace of Hearts, King of Hearts, rough. So um, anyway, that's life. We're going to go one down. <laughs> so East had th uh, three spades. So East has still got two spades left. I'm going to have to uh, play over to the Queen of Clubs. Now I can finesse the spade. Draw the last trump. Uh, I just I just can't afford I'm, I'm just going to lose two hearts there's nothing I can do about it am I going to lose two if I was to play a spade I'm thinking, nah I'm going down East has got two hearts East is going to, I'm going down I'm going to lose Ace King of Hearts okay that's fine um, quite happy with the bidding didn't pan out, but um, that's the sort of, that's bridge. <laughs> that's the logic behind it, I guess. Hey, Cyril. 
And yeah, we do okay. You know, it's that's the good thing about duplicate bridge. We make our decisions and everybody else has to make the same decision. So um, it looks like a lot of other players were in the same boat and we end up with a okay score about it. So there we go. Amelia, happy new year from the Netherlands and to you too. Okay, uh, good. Hey, Therese, morning. Let's play hand two. Ten, 13 high card points. Nice hand. I like this. Uh, something we often talk about, points in our long suit. And this is what we've got. Our ace, queen of hearts, all our points in our long suits here. Just think how, look at the fight, look at the, uh, okay, look at the nine of spades. Nine of spades is just useless. Two of hearts. Two of hearts is good because it's in our long suit and that ace of hearts, queen of hearts, it's going to be so much easier to set up that long heart suit. Hearts of trumps, no trumps, I don't know. But points in our long suit help us establish that suit. That's why the king of diamonds was so useless on the last hand. Didn't help us at all because it wasn't in our long suit. Okay, one heart. Hey, Deborah in the Mississippi, Mississippi in the USA, welcome. One heart, two clubs. Okay, nice. All right, so uh, I could I could bid three clubs here. My club suit support's pretty good. I could bid two hearts. Either way, I don't mind. I'm just going to bid two hearts. Oh, actually, I don't mind three clubs there, to be honest. Oh, now that's interesting. So North has what's going on here north has has changed suit and then bid four hearts so that four heart bid is not uh, a sign off as such it's not a weak hand this is something that um is can be a bit confusing a jump to game on our first turn to bid tends to be a weak hand with good trumps and a bit of shape so if I open one heart, if North had jumped to four hearts directly, one heart, four hearts, I would expect a weak hand or weakish with good trump support and a bit of shape, but not many points. In this case, North has changed suit and then bid four hearts. So North's going to have a good hand. I'm, you know, I'm expecting North to have around about 13 points, um, heart support, and club. So I really like my hand a lot. Um, in fact, I'm tempted to, I, I'm going to bid on here. I'm going to, I'm, I'd be quite happy to bid six hearts now because we could easily make, you know, six heart tricks, five club tricks and a diamond or something. So potentially lots of tricks here. We may be missing two aces, so I'm just going to check to make sure we're not missing two. Partner bids one ace, and we want, so five diamond shows one ace, so we are missing two aces. That's the way the cookie crumbles, so we've got to stop in five hearts. And we are going to make five hearts, so we're in the right spot here. Just got a spade and a club to lose. So just draw trumps. That's all the trumps gone. Sometimes when I'm playing on this these live streams, I get so busy talking that I I forget to watch what's happened. So that's um, that's all the trumps gone. So I can just concede a club now. And we are good to go. Hey, Susan, Happy New Year. So um, really not too much to the hand. Just notice something I think is really important about ace asking is that I'm not, I'm not, I, I already decided I was going to go to slam. And I was simply asking for aces to make sure we weren't missing two aces. So my decision was, I'm going to slam. That's it. 
Um, the ace asking was just a check, a final check. It's not like I'm thinking, I wonder if slams this. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I think I'll ask for aces. That's really not the way we want to be going. We've got to... Um, in fact, the best way I ever heard um, someone describe it, this not something I made up, but I, I really like it. Not sure who said this first, but uh, ace asking is a, is a tool we use to stay out of slams. It's not a tool we use to get into slams. Uh, if that makes sense. If that makes sense. Ace asking we use to stay out of slams, not to get into slam. So I think that's, uh, I always thought that was quite clever. Right, one, two, six high card points. And not uh, not great. You know, those queens and jacks aren't such great cards. So I'm just going to pass here. One spade, two clubs. Hmm. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? We could, tr tr I could try and defend two clubs. It's, it's kind of awkward. I've, we, we prob we've got a spade fit because I'm playing five card majors. Even if you're playing four card majors, most of the time when somebody, when your partner opens a spade, even if you're playing four card majors, most of the time it turns out to be a five card spade suit anyway. So we've got a spade fit. Um, so I'm, I kind of like to play in spades. But with all those clubs, I don't mind defending two clubs either. So touch and go. I'm going to bid two spades. Just pass might have been okay. Three spades, yeah, not keen on that. That's definitely, that's two. Yeah, so we're probably in the right contract here. We've got yeah, we do have a bit of work to do. We do have a little bit of work to do. We can. Yeah, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? We could. We're going to lose. We're going to lose two. Um, two hearts. We're going to lose the ace of spades. We might lose the jack of spades, and I've still got to do something with that last heart. So. I just have to be a little careful here. Rough. Let's play a spade and see what happens. Okay, that's sort of okay. There goes the hearts. Now, this isn't all bad news that West is playing. Yeah, that's not so good. That is bad news. That's good defense. Now, that's nice defense. That's not good for me. Um, the thing is, if I rough here, if trumps don't break, I'm in serious strife. So if I play the eight of spades and draw another round of trumps and trumps don't break, this hand is going to turn to custard real quick. So West did, uh, East and West have defended that nicely. That's not what I wanted to see. Um, do you get that? So if I if I rough, I'm just in a mess. Maybe I should just. What have I lost? I've lost two. I'm thinking I might just pitch a heart. Sort of be a bit, yeah. I think I'm going to pitch a heart. Okay, so let me just talk through what I'm thinking. If I rough this trick and trumps break four one, which they well might, then I'm going to have, after I've if I draw two more rounds of trumps, West has still got a trump left, and then they're just going to run all the hearts against me. If I just discard a heart, sure, I'm going to lose this trick, and I'm also going to lose another heart, but that's all I'm going to lose. So I 
what happened there? That was a club to the king, wasn't it? Okay, so this is going to be okay now. So that's fine. I can rough, I can over rough. Now, hmm. Play a spade to the queen. And if Trump's break, I'm fine. If Trump's don't break, I still could lose two diamonds at the end. What's going on? East seem he started with five clubs. West roughed with a nine of spades. I'm just now now what I'm thinking is this is looks all this is great. You know, I can rough, I could draw the last trumps, I could play the jack of clubs throwing a heart. My only slight concern is if diamonds don't break, then this could also turn out badly. So, oh well, I'm going to play a spade to the queen. Yeah. So Easter's still got a spade left. Well, I guess I'm just going to play the jack of clubs, pitching a heart. And I'm just going to hope that the diamonds run. So draw trumps. Well, West has pitched a couple of diamonds now, so it looks like we're good to go. Ooh, well, we were a bit lucky. So my, my, I was scared about this hand, and I was kind of right to be scared. Uh, West uh, made a mistake by throwing a diamond. Uh, poor old West, I guess, was worried about keeping that last heart. And threw a diamond, and that meant my diamonds ran. Okay, so that was a, whoa, whoa, that was a that was a bit of a scary one, uh, not scary, but that was a challenging one. Nice challenging hand. Um, we ended up with a pretty good school for that. I'm not quite sure why. I felt like I struggled through that hand, but it turned out okay. Um, so actually, maybe I sound like I was being super cautious, worrying about these bad breaks. But the fact is that a four-one break isn't that uncommon. Um, if we're if we've got a um, if we've got a eight-card fit, missing five trump or missing five cards in the suit, that suit is only going to break three-two about two-thirds of the time. So around about a third of the time, we're going to get a 4-1 or a 5-0 break. Okay, uh, let's play hand three. Uh, Steve's saying I was only in three. Yep, that's true, Steve. But if diamonds had broken four, um, if West hadn't thrown a diamond, I wouldn't have even made three. Because having, yeah, I wouldn't have made three. So, uh Okay, anyway, let's play hand four. You feel unlucky, don't you? When the when it's when Trump's break four one, you think, oh no, what did I do to deserve this? But the fact is they're gonna break four one or five nil about a third of the time. So when here's another here's another good one to remember. Um, again, nothing I'm just telling what I've heard elsewhere. Um, when things look like, like they're going really well, there's the time to start worrying and look out for um, danger, dangerous um, uh, breaks and what have you. And when things look like really difficult, then there's the, that's the time to be optimistic and just hope that things break. Um, does that make sense? You know, when the contract looks hopeless, you just got to cross your fingers and hope that your finesse works or whatever. But when things look easy, that's the time to say, oh, what could possibly go wrong? Um, yeah. Okay, one club, one spade, so that's a pass. One of Trump, and uh, now, again, I'm playing standard today, so that one no Trump on the second round shows 12 to 14 points. For those of you playing Akol, uh, that 
uh, an opening one no Trump shows 12 to 14 points and the no Trump rebid would be 15 to 17, 15, 16, 17. But because I'm playing standard, then the one no Trump on the second round is 12 to 14. And East has now uh, bid four spades. This is the classic, this is the classic constructive auction. It looks simple, but it's it's really good one to look at. Uh, most constructive auctions follow this pattern. It's suit or suits, we're exploring with a suit. Then somebody makes a limit bid, which defines the shape and strength of the hand. And then after the limit bid, the next person is basically in control. And most of the time just chooses the final contract. So it's think you can think of a constructive auction, one, two, three. So here we have it. Uh, one club, one spade. There's the suits, new suits, change of suit. One no trump is the limit bid, showing the um, strength and shape of the hand. And then four spades from east is the choose the final contract. So one, two, three. We So often we see that flow. And if the flow, if it doesn't go like that, if we don't see that suit limit bid choose the final contract flow, then it's quite likely that something's gone wrong with the auction. Okay, uh, one club, one spade, one in Trump, four spades. Wow. I'm not keen on any lead here. I don't want to lead a spade. Not keen on leading a heart. Not keen on leading a club. Not keen on leading a diamond. So I don't know what to lead. So when I don't know what to lead, I just use the right hand rule of thumb. Does anybody know what the right hand rule of thumb is? And from it's for me, it's just choose the card closest to your right thumb. <laughs> So in this case, that's let's look like this one. Ah, oh, well, that wasn't so good. All right, so what do we know? Uh, five, two, nine, queen. So North's got the ten of diamonds for sure, because otherwise East would have played the ten, not the queen. So that was not a great lead. Maybe it didn't make any difference. I'm not sure, but we do know that East has got the ace, queen of diamonds. And North has got the 9 and the 10. And that's about all we know. Speed. Here come the Trumps. King. 3, 2. So uh, almost certainly East has got no diamonds left. And my lead, right hand rule of thumb lead was a disaster. So scrap that idea. The reason I'm saying that is I led the two of diamonds and North's returning the three. So if North, and we know North, we also know North started with the 10 of diamonds, as I've just explained before. So if North had, if North started with 10, 9, 3, okay, 10, 9, 3, he would have played the nine on the first trick, good. And then with 10, 3, Doubleton remaining, North would have returned the 10. So the fact that North has returned the 3 tells me that North started with um, 10, 9, 3, whatever it was, 5 or something, 4. Uh, I, I can't remember if West had the 5 or the 4. But um, so East has got no more diamonds. So that lead was really awful. Uh, looks like West started with six spades because she's drawing another round of trumps. And we can tell she started with at least six because when West bid one no trump, West was showing a two or three card spade support. North bid four spades. So she must have had at least six because six and two gives eight. So the fact that she's Drawing one more round of trumps tells us that she's started with exactly six spades and North had started with three. So I can throw a diamond. They're not going to do me any good. Uh, 
I got to cover this. You know, if North's got the jack and the ten, it doesn't make any difference what I do. But what I don't want to happen here is I don't want it to go jack seven four. I can't afford to let that jack win. So I'm just going to cover with the queen and hope that North's got the ten. He does. And then there we go. So that's it. That's perfect. Thank you, uh, whoever. Thank you, dealers, for. Um, that's a great example of why we cover an honor with an honor. And there we go. No surprise. We knew that was going to happen for the reasons I talked about. Um, so we knew East had no more diamonds left. Uh, so East had, what, uh, six spades, three hearts, two diamonds, and two clubs. So um, so the last two tricks, uh, club and the four of hearts is a winner. So there we go. I get a terrible score for that. So um, bad lead. Hate that right hand rule of thumb. Whose idea was the right hand rule of thumb? That's a silly idea. God. Hey, SB, welcome. Okay, hand five. Okay, pass. One to Trump. Nothing to do here. Uh, again, because I'm playing standard, he's, uh, that one to Trump opening bid is 15 to 17. The Akol players sitting east would open it something else. Um, so I'm just going to pass. Hey, Jeff, in sunny Cape Town, South Africa. Welcome. One of Trump, two clubs, two hearts. So two clubs of stamen. Um, do you have a four-card major? North saying, yes, I've got a four-card heart suit. West says, great. Got a heart fit. Okay, pass, pass, pass. And it's my lead again. Oh, no. Here we go again. What should I lead, everybody? I'm not going to lead a heart. I could lead a spade or a club or a diamond. I don't really mind which one. Um, I'm going to go with... I don't care. Let's do this together. What should we lead? Sort of tempted to try the three of diamonds again just because I want to try the right hand rule of thumb again. There you go, Steve. Awesome. Let's try it again. Right hand rule of thumb. Card closest to your right thumb. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, Pam. There you go, Pam. Uh, the Pam's suggesting. Oops, hang on. Sorry, there we go. Pam's suggesting top of a sequence. Yeah, Jack of Diamonds would have worked out better on this hand. You're quite right, Pam. Um, Pam, I blame you for not typing fast enough. Come on, get those fingers working. No, no, kidding. Okay, there we, there we go. Um, let's follow suit. So 2024 is going to be the year where I work on my leads. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Steve. Yeah, I got it. Thanks, pal. Um, OK, focus. So uh, what happened? North is playing another heart. King through the hearts. Mm, no, back club. No, I've got to cover that. That's really annoying. Uh, okay, well, at least we do get one diamond trick. So he started with four hearts and um, three diamonds. Uh, now, this is what happens. I'm so busy talking, I, f I forget to um, follow what's going on. So I can't. What happened? Diamond East played the Ace of Diamonds, Ace of Hearts. That seven of diamonds is now a winner on which East can throw something. I guess it doesn't hurt me to play. Hmm. 
could East have four hearts, four clubs? Um, I'm not loving this. Here comes the seven of diamonds. Oh, no. Oh, well. Okay, well, the seven of diamonds is still a winner. So, okay, there we go. We're all, it's all over. Seven of diamonds is a winner. Um, rough diamond. Yeah, no good. Not a um, lead didn't work out again. That's it. I'm done with that stupid rule of right hand rule of thumb lead. That was a bad idea. Um, okay, there we go. Let's play hand five. Six. We're up to hand six already. Gosh. Now, I'm back in Japan that you might may have gathered. You might recognize the background. I'm sitting in my in the tatami room <laughs> nice to be back and thank you everybody last week a whole bunch of you were really kind and said hello to my nephews in tokyo thank you for that it was really nice they were really thrilled to um get, get everybody's hellos so thank you right uh let's go 10 17 high card points pam's uh, christmas tummy that was a week ago, Pam. Uh, okay, one spade. 10, 17, yep, 17 high card points, one spade, two spades. That was a pretty good hand. North shown six to nine points with spade support. I got a pretty good hand here. My spades are good. Uh, my hearts, I've got singleton club, points in my long suits, which is good. You know, the singleton king of clubs or something would be useless. So this, this looks pretty good. I'm going to try four spades here. Now notice, uh, let me just bid and then I'll just come back to the auction for a second. Let's look at this auction again. So look, this is the same thing. This is a constructive auction. It's just me and partner and the bidding. And so we get that same constructive auction flow. So in this case, one spade, new suit. Nobody's bid spades before. We're just exploring, starting the auction. One spade. Two spades is the limit bid. Two spades is a suit that's already been bid before or no trumps. That's how we tell it's a limit bid. So two spades is the limit bid showing a narrow range of points and defining the shape of the hand. What happens after the limit bid? Suit, suit, limit bid. I'm in control. Just so I'm choosing the final contract. Suit, limit bid, contract. So here we have it. One spade was the suit. Two spades was the limit bid. Four spades choose the final contract. That's just how constructive bidding works. Uh, okay, so we have, we're going to lose uh, a club and maybe a couple of diamonds and maybe a heart. So we've got to make sure we don't lose a heart or maybe uh, we have another chance and that is that we may, no, that's not going to work. I was going to say we may be able to play four rounds of hearts, pitching a diamond, and then roughing the third diamond in the dummy. But that's no good because we also have to draw trumps. Anyway, let's follow suit and see what happens. Ace of clubs, four of clubs. Well, when West play ace of clubs and then four of clubs if he had the king? I don't know. I know the lead of an ace normally promises the king but it doesn't always you know that's only a it doesn't always so maybe west doesn't have the king here 
I don't think West would lead the ace of clubs and then the four of clubs if he had the king. So I think East has got the king. So no point playing the queen here. Let's play the seven and see what happens. Jack. Okay, so I th so I, if I'm reading this right, I think um, West has got started with Ace Ten, Four, or something of clubs, and East started with the King Jack. The reason I say that is that if East had the King Jack Ten, she probably would have played the Ten on the on the uh, on this trick rather than the Jack. So I'm still not I'm still not loving this. Well, maybe I'd rough. Kinda. I don't know. I don't know what to do in this hand. <laughs> Kind of wish East and West would lead something. Yeah, I'm just going to play a diamond. I don't know. Let's see. See what happens. If West plays a club now, that'd be great. A spade. Okay. Mm. Maybe I'll play another couple of spades and then just play Ace of Diamonds and another diamond. Let's try this. I'm just going to play a spade. I'm just going to play Ace of Diamonds and another diamond and see what the opposition do. Two of clubs. Ugh, rats. Let's just try this. There we go. That's sort of what we wanted. We want to give the lead to... East to them now. Okay, so we win the king. Now I'm going to play a spade, throwing away a club. Now I just need hearts to break. Ha ha! How about that? Well, as it happens on the sand, I couldn't actually go too wrong, too far wrong because look at the heart suit. All that time, East did have Queen Third Heart, so we couldn't go wrong there. Can't complain about my luck on that hand. Um, I was always going to make it because of that distribution. Uh, okay, let's play hand seven. Three, four. I guess that last hand was, yeah, no, it's gone. La uh, the last hand was sort of an example. No, it wasn't as bad. Forget it. Let's play hand seven. I know Trump again, so that's 15 to 17. Three diamonds. So it depends on your, what your bidding system is here. People have different agreements on what three diamonds means. Uh, for some people, it's uh, natural and forcing. For some people, it's week for some people it's invitational just depends on your agreements uh, i can tell you that the computer is set up to play that as forcing so east has got a, a diamonds and a reasonably good hand three no trumps okay so we're going to see a decent diamond suit here and a good hand 10 12 14 okay so what's that 10 14 points west has got 15 to 17. So the way I think about this, I find it quite helpful, is to, I'm trying to figure out what North's got. So West is, West is showing 15 to 17 with the one no Trump bid. So in my head, I'm just going to call it in the middle. I'm going to call it 16. 15 to 17. I'm going to call it 16. East started with 14 high card points. So 16 and 14, 30. 
the opposition have got 30 points between them, plus or minus one. So if they've got 30, our side has got 10, plus or minus one. I've got four points, so north has got six points, plus or minus one. So I'm kind of just looking out for what north's six points are. Oh, and it looks like three, what are we on? Three no trumps. Uh, looks like north six points, three of them, I suspect, were spades, were the queen jack of spades. Because if west had king jack, or if west had king jack of spades, he, he would have won the jack, not the king. And the computer tends not to false card. So I think north has got queen jack of spades and three more points. What are those other three points? Probably the King of Hearts. I think uh, North has got the King of Hearts. And that's it. Not that it's going to do us any good. Oh, the Ace of Hearts. Okay, so North had 11 points. And West must have started with uh, 15. Okay, so not much we could do about that. Now, uh, so let's just talk about that um, process of, of counting there. I started off by saying North had 10 points plus or minus one and West had 16 plus or minus one. Sorry, sorry. I started off saying our side had 10 points plus or minus one. Therefore, North had six plus or minus one. So I knew North had Queen Jack of Spades and I thought North had three points and I was busy saying three, but of course it's actually two or three or four. Uh, so I was placing North with the King of Hearts, which would have given North our side 10 points. Um, but of course, we've got that one point range. So when North had the Ace of Hearts, I know that he actually started with, or our side started with 11 points. And so East and West started with one point less. So I can then quickly tell that West started with 15 points and not 16 points. And when we look at West's hand, eight, nine, 15 points. So yeah, it didn't do us any good on the hand, but I just find that's a quick way of doing the, of, of uh, figuring out who's got all the points. Uh, Jeff saying, uh, just checking that a jump in diamonds isn't meant to be a transfer. Uh, yeah, good question, Jeff. It, in this case, no. And most of the time, a transfer would only be if West had bid, sorry, if East had bid two diamonds. So one to trump two diamonds would be a transfer. One to trump three diamonds, not normally a transfer. Um, not necessarily a hand with diamonds or strong or weak or what have you, but not normally a transfer because you could transfer with two diamonds and keep the bidding a bit lower. Uh, good one. Okay, let's play hand, where are we up to? Hand eight. One diamond, one spade, double. So this is a pass. You know, if North had opened the bidding, I would respond with my five, six, seven high card points. One spade, you know, if North had bid one spade and East had double, I'd probably bid a no trump. But North hasn't opened the bidding. North is the overcaller, and responding to an overcall is not the same as responding to an opening bid. So if, we, if North opens and I've got six points, I'm going to respond and go through that process. But those responding rules, they just do not apply when we're responding to when we are responding to an overcall. So I'm just going to pass. 
One diamond, one spade, double, three no trumps. East's double here is a negative double, so it's a takeout double. And uh, remember a take, uh, sorry. A There we go. Sorry, little internet connection trouble there. Um, yeah, a negative double is just a fancy name for a takeout double made by a responder. So east is the responder here, west is the opener, east is the responder. So it's a takeout double made by the responder. We give that the special name of a negative double, and it's almost always um, four cards in the other major. So East has got a heart suit and a few points. So pass. And there we go. Spot on. East has got a heart suit and a few points. Why didn't East simply bid two hearts? Because she's not strong enough. One diamond, one spade, two hearts. Um, East would need to have a better hand to go to the two level. So negative double shows the heart suit and keeps the bidding low. Right, so what have we got? Three, seven, I'm going to play the jack here, of course. North has almost certainly started with exactly five spades because the, the three is his fourth highest. Therefore, the two will be his fifth highest. We know that he started with at least five because he overcalled. Now, a few of you have mentioned that I always make this big point about the fourth highest leads, and not everybody plays fourth highest leads. That's quite true. So I take that point. Um, the thing is that whatever, the lead will mean something. So whatever it is, it's good to get into the habit of really thinking about that lead. Um, here we're using fourth highest leads. But whatever it is, it's good to um, take your time and think about the um, implications of that lead. So no, we know North's got five spades. East had three, I had two, or have two. Therefore, West started with three spades. So West has got diamonds and three-card spade suit. We also know that West doesn't have a four-card heart suit because if West had four hearts, he would have supported the hearts straight away. So this could be a bit of an awkward hand for Declara. Yeah, this is going to be an awkward hand for Declara. Two more spade tricks. <sighs> yeah. What am I going to throw here? I'm worried that if I throw the diamonds, Declare is going to, that diamond suit's going to run. I don't, and I can't throw a club because the, that'll set the club suit up for West. So I've got to find two discards. I can afford to throw one heart and one diamond. I might as well throw another diamond, I guess. If the diamonds are running, they're running. Okay, so that looks like all we're going to get. Yeah, not much we could do about that at the end. All right, good. There we go. So North had that five-card spade suit, as we 
But as we figured out, West started with three. Um, why did West bid three no trumps with a singleton heart? Well, he knew that East had hearts, so that really wasn't a problem. Um, and we hadn't bid hearts. But a bit of an unlucky hand. Five, six, seven, eight. Yep. There's no way Declara can make that hand. Bidding's fine, just didn't make. Bad luck for East and West, good luck for us. Okay, hand nine. Sorry about the internet connection, by the way. I'm here, I'm here with a bit of a dodgy, got one of those portable dodgy things, and it does seem to, um, we're going to do seven, eight high card points, nothing to do here. It'll be, I'll be back, back in New Zealand in a couple of weeks, so it'll sort it all itself out then. One diamond, one spade, three spades, so that's pass. Four spades, pass, pass, pass. Club, oh, well done, north club lead. That's what we're after, so we can win the king. Mm. What was that auction? A diamond, a spade, four spades. What are we going to do now? Ugh. Hmm. I don't want to lead anything here. Don't want to lead a diamond and set the diamonds up. Don't want to lead a heart and set the hearts up. Don't want to lead a spade. I'm actually just going to play another club. I know it's going to be roughed, but if we've got a heart trick or a diamond trick, it's not they're not going away anywhere. So I'm sort of just giving the lead away. Um, I'm quite happy to give the lead away and sit back and relax. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to play the jack of clubs. The ace and jack are both good. But if I play the ace of clubs, North won't know where the jack is. North already knows I've got the ace because my king won on the first trick. So I'm, if I play the ace, North doesn't know where the jack is. But if I play the jack, North still knows where the ace is. So it really doesn't matter. I mean, West could have roughed that club anyway at some point. So oh, how about that? That's a nice, pleasant surprise. What happened? Uh, North won the Ace of Hearts, so we can play a diamond, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we get all, we got all the tricks we were going to get. Looks like West uh, could have roughed that club. So we got one more trick than we might have here. West had a little sleep. Oh, West North had that Queen of Clubs. Queen of Spades. Okay. <laughs> well, this worked out okay. Okay, that worked out great. So, again, it wasn't... Uh, I know it looks a little odd leading a club there when I know it's going to be roughed. But it really doesn't cost anything. Doesn't doesn't hurt. So what's the I guess the lesson there, not lesson, but you know, just something to be aware of. It's okay to uh, give the lead away. It's okay to give Declarer roughs because Declarer could have roughed those clubs himself anyway. I'm not sure why he didn't. Okay, uh, lucky last. Five, six, seven, eight, nine high card points. And that is a pass. On the trump, pass, and that's a pass. And just again, um, we, West is, East, we're all playing standard today, so West is showing 15 to 17. Now, notice this looks like a really boring auction, but in fact, it's still, think of that flow we're talking about where suit, limit bid, choose the final contract. Seems to be nothing like that at all, but it's still kind of the same way. All that's happened is that the first, we've skipped out the first set, step. Think of the three steps, suits, so explore, limit bid, 
choose the final contract. So always that flow, all that's happened here is that we've missed out the first step. So instead of East and West starting with a suit, then making a limit bid, then choosing the final contract, they've gone straight to the limit bid with one no trump, and then East has passed, which is still a decision. East is still the person in control here because West has made the limit bid. So even though it's a pass, East has still made the decision to choose the final contract of one no trump. So that flow, once you, st once you start seeing it, yeah, it's there. It's always there in a constructive auction, even one like this. Really, really good thing to look at. Bump, bump, bump. One, two, three. And we're going to pass. All right, six, seven, uh, seven high card points. So we can do the same thing here. Let's just, I'm just going to quickly do the maths again. So the way I do it, I uh, hope you find this helpful, is that, okay, so West has shown started with 15 to 17. So in my head, I'm going to call it 16. East started with seven. So that's uh, 16 and 7 is 23. So our side has got 17, plus or minus 1. Uh, so I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Our side's got 17, plus or minus 1, so 9 and 8. So north started with 8 points, plus or minus 1. And uh, it's just, I find it a quick way of figuring out what's going on. So, and again, four, six, five, king. I suspect the north started with five spades. So, uh, the six, three. So, um, something, 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 six, three. Uh, so, I'm just going to keep playing spades. Diamond. What was that one? Uh, okay, disappointing. North's got North started with five diamonds, five, four, three, one. So North started with uh, three spades and five diamonds, and therefore three, two in the other suits. So that ten of diamonds is a big card, too big for me. Sorry, the jacks. So North still got the ten of diamonds and another diamond. So. Okay, we can play a club. Here come the diamonds. And North's got one more diamond. Uh, now here I've got to stop and think for a sec. So what, what's happened? So North had... Jack of spades, nothing in diamonds. And what did I say North started with? I started with nine, so North had about seven points, did I say? What are they? They are Jack of spades, king of hearts, king of clubs. I think I can afford to throw a heart here. Maybe I, maybe I can't. I think I can afford to throw a heart here. Good. And there we go. Okay, so SB is saying pass is a limit bid. Uh, no, not not quite. Almost SB. The one no trump is the limit bid. The pass is the choose the final contract. I know it looks strange. It seems like it's North isn't doing anything. North is just passing, but it's still a decision. So when we think of that flow of suit, limit bid, choose the final contract, a pass can still be the choose the final contract. It's still a decision by East that one no trump is the right contract. So the pass, think of the pass there, 
think of East's second pass as the decision, as the East is in control because West has made the limit bid and East has chosen to play in one no Trump. East has decided that one no Trump is the best contract and so East has passed. That pass is the last step. Boom, suit, limit bid, choose the final contract, pass, I choose that one no Trump is the final contract. Okay, good one. Thank you very much, uh, everybody, for watching, joining in. I will, um, that was good fun. Nice, they were good, good cards to start the year off. Looking forward to um, lots of live streams, lots of fun this year. I hope you're all having a great uh, festive season, and I will look forward to seeing you next week. And Robert, hi, Robert from um, Southwest France. Welcome. And welcome and good night, everybody. Thank you.